Hey guys, uh, doing an unboxing today. We uh, started using a new line of panels and really, ooh. There we go. Started using a new line of panels and um, I installed one today. I got another one here today just to show you guys, but started doing, started installing a new line of panels and they're a very premium panel and uh, some of the stuff I had to kind of work through today I wanted to put out some information on them in case anyone else starts using them that way they they know too and yeah it's they're a different panel they're a really cool really cool design really really premium feels like they're upscaled I've, I've been doing electrical a long time and these, these are probably one of the best panels I've got my hands on and really enjoyed working on them. So we'll flip it around. So got here, we, yeah, Leviton. We got a Leviton panel. So this is a 200 amp 42 circuit. You'll notice how it's only a 42 circuit. Most panels on the market right now are 40, like if this was a 42, pa 42 circuit, then it would be a 4284 CUDA. Yes, the eating, eating stuff off the floor. So this is a 200 amp 42 circuit panel. And so what that means, what that means is you don't get, you don't get tandems, you don't get quads. These are full space only, but this these are very safe panels and i believe the trade-off is worth it like i say now that they've put out bigger panels we are able to start installing them in houses we're doing whereas up until recently they were only 20 circuit panels was their biggest and a 20 circuit does not work in a house our average house our average house in the 500,000 range has about 26 circuits in it. So plus we got to leave four spaces here in Alberta for basement developments and everything. So as per code, when we finish a new house, we have to leave four spaces. So, but flip this back around. So Leviton supplied to us by Barlett and Gibson. Yeah, so they've been very good to us so far and enjoying, looking forward to working with them in the future. So we'll open this box up here. Big freaking box for a panel. So our first box we got in here is the panel cover. We'll open this up after. But like to give you guys a size scale of this box, like there's the bike. It's almost the same length as the bar as the bike. This is a very, very high end feeling. So we'll get this panel cover out of the way. So that's what you get next. And it's cool, it gives you a dust shield or a paint shield that can all be marked with what circuits or what, how many amps. It's very convenient, very nice touch. Here's a panel. So, got to get this out of the way here. Seconds. So it's clearly why most people use a GoPro when they do this. But so as you see, we're getting a look at inside of the panel. So this is a 200 amp. 
42 circuit, 42, 42 circuit panel, which it's, it's huge. It looks way bigger than a 42, but remember we're full space breakers only. So, but getting a look at this, this super cool feature, everything mounts, everything mounts to the panel, nothing mounts to the breakers. So the breakers are completely toolless. So you can see we got neutral, so we got our neutral screw for each breaker and a hot screw for each breaker. So what that means is your arc faults, your GFIs, anything, even just a standard 15 or 20 amp breaker, it just snaps in and you don't have anything going to the breaker, no, no wires going to the breaker. So these panels at Ruffin, we just did a Ruffin. And they get to be terminated right at. So we, we just did a rough in. We just finished it today. And I tied the panel in. And it gets to be tied in. Labeled. Everything. Right at rough in. And you snap in your few breakers you want for temporary power. And you're good to go. And once it's tied in. It's pretty, pretty dummy proof. Pretty much anybody can... Hop in there, snap another breaker in. You need power somewhere else. It's super quick. And it's saving time on finals, pre-finals. Because it's going to give you the option to... You can be doing something else. And your apprentice, once they're more trusted, can head down. Tell them what circuits you need livened up. They can pop the breakers in and carry on. It's super fast. It's going to save time. It's a little bit longer of a tie-in at Ruffin. It did take me a little bit longer than normal, but firstly, I'm learning a new panel. There's a couple quirks about it that I'll go over after that I, I don't agree with, but there's still a very premium panel. Even the finish on it, it's like a powder coated finish. I don't know if I can get it to show up. This is textured. There we go. You can see it's textured instead of smooth. So I think that's going to give a more durable finish on the panel itself. So if we pop open the top here. Oh, it's screwed in. I need a screwdriver. Why is my screwdriver... Sorry guys, bear with me. Didn't know I needed a screwdriver to get in to the top of it. Mm. Oh, too big. It's wrong, Robbie. There we go. As we just pop open, still think that's the wrong Robinson, but it's gonna do the trick for us. As we open it up, so you're greeted by your terminals again. So Canada, we're required to have our our service center separated mechanically from the load center so service entrance has to be mechanically separated so here neutral connection and an extra neutral bar and oversized neutrals so if you need a 6.3 10 or 6.3 or larger you've got extra extra terminals there for it and your other side this is your main this is your main ground and then a ground bar up top the bonding jumper so and like I say this is a 200 amp panel um, main connections are just behind two safeties 
so there's there's your two lines your two hots so the other really cool feature that we were talking with um, Leviton on is this main bus is rated for 200 amps so and all of their main buses are rated for 200 amps so what that means is I can literally grab off the shelf I've got a 100 amp breaker here So I can open up this. This is how your 100 amp breakers are going to come for if you need to do a, a service change. Comes with a new, new looks like a new bonding jumper and screws, which is always good to have. And then this is your this is your 100 amp. So it's exactly the same footprint. It's exactly the same everything. Everything's rated for so. Your 100 amp, so when you buy a 100 amp panel and you buy a 100 amp panel, 130, 100 amp, 30 circuit, 42 circuit, 60 circuit, or 66 circuit, sorry, they are all, all the main buses are rated for 200 amps, which means that you're going to get, if, if you end up down the line and the clients need more power or say they didn't have a 200 amp on the shelf but they got a 200 amp breaker and a 100 amp 66 circuit and so you can get the site swap out the main and you're good to go so you don't have to get all the guts out of the inside like you have to with a lot of the with a lot of the other brands like i say i've worked with a lot of different brands and these are by far the most premium feeling and some of the coolest features on these panels. So I said I was gonna go over what I don't like. So I'll go over what I don't like before I move to the panel cover. So far the only thing I don't like is if you look at these top knockouts here, these half inch, three quarter inch knockouts. Um, so the half inch, the inside, the inside one, you have to pound it out. So you have to go from the inside and pound it out because it's the way it's done. You won't pound it in. And then the three quarters are on the inside. So for us personally, as, as a company, we use metal one screw connectors to bring our main feeder or our branch circuits into the panel and it's making it so that today was a big pain to try to get these knockouts out and then trying to get my my half inch connectors in I bent a couple of the three quarters because as you're trying to trying to persuade the connectors in you're bending the three quarters so you're bending you're bending the the back of them so what I ended up having to do was pound them in facing down and then rotate them 90 degrees because these are welded on the top and bottom instead of front front and back. So that's meaning that the, that they're bending when you're trying to force them in. So beyond that though, terminate it up really quick. The extra ground bars in the bottom here for your other two, for your two sides. I wish there was another ground bar up high on the right hand side, but it's not gonna be the end of the world. Your grounds can chase down and terminate. It's it's still gonna look super clean. And yeah, so that's, that's the panel. We'll show the cover. They are by far the easiest knockouts I've used. The panels knock out super easy. I was very surprised at how easy. I'm used to working with um, Schneider Homeline stuff and their knockouts are not very um, easy to knock out sometimes, but these ones were definitely very, very easy in, re in comparison. So here's the panel cover. Comes in a nice box too. Nice, nicely packaged.
nicely packaged. You got your panel screws. You got your panel screws there. And I see what they did. They're trying to reduce skews, which is which is perfect. You end up making more money in the long run. And or saving money and being able to pass that savings on to your installers, which will also pass it on to the homeowners. So we've opted for the solid door, but you can also get a door with a window. So you can get a door that has, this is all cut out and it's got plexi on it instead. So I'll be curious, I haven't installed one of those yet, but I'll be curious and I'll put up a video once I get, once I do one. Yeah, so there's your inside. All these knockouts twist out super easy. The top one, this for your main breaker pops out super easy. All of these twist outs very easy. I'd show you, but I don't don't want to uh, twist one out and not know where my breakers are gonna go on my install tomorrow. So, but no, like I say, very very impressed with these panels. Um, I can't wait to implement them more and work with them some more. But Leviton making great, they make great products. I've used their products for years and years, mostly their devices, but starting to with other stuff now. And I can't wait to see what else they, what else they provide. It definitely makes my job easier. And I like installing premium products. It's the way it is. I find that, um, I'd rather use the right products up front and reduce service calls and reduce headaches for my clients. I w they're spending a lot of money to get something. I want to make sure that I do my part to make them get the best product and product that they can. So yeah, so that's them. I'm looking forward to implementing them more and uh, thanks for watching.